I would like to welcome you to the ESC studio here at the uh, ESC Congress here in Munich. Uh, my name is Falko Adams and I am from the University in Leipzig from the Heartland Center. And in my task as uh, CPC uh, President for the Euro Prevent Congress of the European Association of Cardiac Rehabilitation and Prevention, it's my pleasure to welcome Nicole Grenkel here at the studio. And she is a former winner of our Young Investigator Award from the EACPR Congress in Dublin. And I would like to discuss with her what, what changed for her after receiving the Young Investigator Award and what were her opinions why she joined our association. Nicole, uh, now as, as, I, as I mentioned already, as winner of the last year's Young Investigator Award, please let me ask you about your reason, because I know you are a molecular biologist and not a medical doctor in this field. Now, what was the reason for you to join the Congress or the European Association of Cardiac Rehabilitation and Prevention in first time? Well, with the wave of uh, people suffering from cardiovascular disease that is already present and that is coming for us, um, as a molecular biologist, it is a um, great chance to find something new with a high relevance for society. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Now, I, see, I also know, and you also know, as uh, when we submit abstracts, we have a high possibility, or let's say we have a high variety of congresses where, you, where we can submit our abstracts and our work. Now, what was the reason for you to submit exactly your work as molecular biologist, once again, to Europe Prevent Congress, which, which is a specialized congress in cardiac rehabilitation and prevention? As you mentioned, it's a specialized congress, so uh, you have the chance to meet exactly the people with overlapping interests who can help you maybe um, shed some light on an aspect of your work that you have not previously observed and uh, you can also um, meet future colleagues and uh, future participants in common projects. Now you didn't also just join the association, you also an, are an active member of the basic and translation and science section of the association. Now, when you decided also to join this section, you probably had some expectation also to this section. Now, what was exactly these expectations you had when you joined the nucleus of basic and translational science of the association? Well, at the moment there is, um, I think, a, a big strength um, of clinical people in the nucleus, and um, I think it could profit a little bit more from uh, people involved in molecular biology and especially in the translational science and in the cooperation of both partners. The other point I think is probably also we have to raise here, because you are a young scientist in this field. Yeah? Now, when you, you are going to be asked by other young scientists with a molecular biology background, would you recommend or what is the reason you would say to see young scientists it's worthwhile joining this association, and especially this, uh, the nucleus of basic and translational science. Now, what would you tell them why they should join? Well, in the first case, of course, I would uh, suggest them or recommend them to join. The thing is, uh, um, preventive cardiology is an evolving field with a high relevance for society at the moment. And uh, so it is a field where everyone can uh, give a valid and uh, highly um, recommended contribution. Once again, according to your opinion, I think it's also the association should offer something or should make the association or the sections, as well as probably the Congress, much more attractive to young scientists. Now, what, are, what would you suggest to the associations they should offer also at the Congress that they are able to attract more basic scientists to, this, to their meeting? Yes, I think uh, it could uh, profit from a little bit more basic science and um, maybe also the integration or uh, collaborative sessions where uh, clinicians and um, basic scientists can uh, really interact. Now, as last question, and it's probably more, a much more general question concerning the topic of the, uh, covering what the association covers. Now, according to your opinion, what is the most important and unresolved questions at the moment CACPR should uh, approach with specific respect 
to uh, what's going on in the current field? From my point of view, at the moment, we have uh, two unresolved questions or two main, main uh, fields of questions. One of them is, um, we know that uh, physical exercise helps, but at the moment, um, we don't really know what is the perfect um, exercise regimen. And uh, this has somehow to be incorporated into getting the people to continue their exercise even after maybe a supervised exercise uh, program that is done at hospital. So they are the two questions, how to uh, bring the people to integrate exercise into their life and which kind of exercise is the best. So thank you very much and see you next year, 2013, in Rome for the next Congress. Of course.